Uh, they've of course stayed in microgravity conditions for the last nine months and um, the first health concern is muscle atrophy and weakness. Now in the absence of Earth's gravity, muscles that typically support the body weight become weaker. So they've had to exercise uh, nearly one and a half hours every single day. Another key concern is bone density loss. Now without gravity's pull, bones lose density up to one to two percent per month in the hip and the spine which makes exercise all the more important um, third of course is fluid shifts and vision issues microgravity causes bodily fluids to shift upwards resulting in a puffy face and pressure on the brain and the eyes we've of course been seeing how uh, and the and the difference in how they've looked since they launched up to space and since they've returned. Uh, cardiovascular strain is the fourth concern because the fluid shift reduces blood volume and stresses the heart which adapts to pump less in space due to the absence of gravity over there. Number five, immune system suppression. Space flight can weaken immunity, uh, increasing susceptibility to illness. So one thing that they're of course looking in the next 45 days is building the immunity once again. Last but not the least, something we've been talking about since morning is the psychological stress. Yes, uh, the physical conditions and the concerns around that are important, but equally important is uh, the mental fortitude that is required by these astronauts. Extended isolation, confined quarters and mission uncertainty can strain one's mental health but now of course they've all returned safe and sound they touched down off the coast of florida at 3 27 a.m ist 